Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make this coffee grinder and I designed this one in Fusion 360 and printed this on my FDM printer but you can print it on a resin printer as well. I will leave a link in the info box below for the print files. Um, I am cutting a toothpick into the length that I want it to be and I'm gluing it to the little hole there is in the bottom of the handle and then into the uh, top piece here of this coffee grinder. And I am going to leave it for a bit to dry all the way up before I go to paint it. Oh, and I want to put the lid here on this little part here first before I paint it because that makes it so much easier. So I'm just putting a tiny bit of glue on there and trying to uh, place this together so that it is perfectly centered. And now I'm just leaving it to dry before I can paint it. I don't have the right uh, brown color that I want to use for this one so I'm just um, mixing a tiny bit of uh, that was rust a red and a black one and I'm just uh, using my mixing uh, palette here for doing so getting the colors that I really want for this one and then I'm just going to color all parts of this little thingy you might have to paint it twice um, I did make a little repair on the a little draw here because I thought that the 3D printed um, uh, front of it was not that nice. So I placed a tiny bit of a piece of a paper on there, but I will show you that in a second. I just used some normal wood glue here on a tiny piece of paper. I smeared that all over and then I just popped the front of the little drawer into the glue here and I let that sit for a few minutes and then I just cut off the excess paper. I sanded the edges of the paper a tiny bit to make it a little more smooth. And then, of course, I painted this little draw again. I wanted to make some coffee beans. And uh, for that, I stole a few of my husband's just to see how they look and how big they are. So these, these are quite tiny when you make them in 1 to 12. I rolled out this snake of brown clay. This is just a normal dark brown. And I'm uh, rolling it first into a little ball then a tiny bit oblong and then the last step is making this weird line it has down the middle and I do that with my knife and that's all there is for this little tiny craft you just have to do like a thousand of these maybe depends on how many you want to make of course but it takes quite some time Then I am taking some of these nail art uh, decal, water decal paper. Um, you can get them all over uh, eBay and AliExpress and stuff like that, Amazon. Um, and I'm just putting them into water to make this little piece uh, be able to slide off carefully. And then I'm going to decorate this little coffee grinder with these beautiful black flowers. And this way I don't have to hand paint them. Um, I normally hand paint my uh, details on there. But this way it is just so much easier and I get something that actually looks like flower. And I like that quite a lot. So that is easy. Just slide it off and place it on your... Um, things that you want to decorate. When that is all dry, I am going to take some of my wood glue again. I really love this glue. And I'm popping some of it down here in the top part of this little 
coffee grinder so that I can place some of my coffee beans in there. And I'm just making sure that I don't get glue everywhere where I don't want my coffee beans to be. Then I just fill this little part up with my coffee beans. I have some coffee grounds that I have dried up in my stove or oven um, and I'm just putting a tiny bit of glue into the drawer that we have made and I'm gonna glue some of this coffee grounds in there so that it looks like uh, this little coffee grinder has been working today. And then I'm just placing everything together and we are done. Here is the done result of the little coffee grinder. I had a lot of fun with this one. I hope you liked it too. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a very crafty week. I'll see you next Wednesday.